Okay. Hi everyone. So, uh, first we have done the simulation in Deltaire's Wanda for the case of tripping of pump. In case of pump tripping, how the pressure fluctuation occurs uh, due to hydraulic transient condition that you have seen already. And there we have used a vent. Uh, if you can remember, we have used a vent. So now what I am going to do, I am going to do the same simulation without the vent. Okay, so let me open the application. So you can see the application over here. Now let me first save it. Transient state without paint. So it has been set. Now let us go to the model. Model options. Let me change this model to transient mode. Computation mode has been changed to transient mode. Now model. Fluid window that is water. Give it water. And then uh, in the time parameters window. Let me define the time step to be 0 0.1 second and the simulation time to be 100 seconds so i have defined these things and now i'm going to just uh, i'm going to just uh, make up the same model instead of making it what i'm going to do let me let me show you uh, open an existing application okay so this is going to be a new thing like what i have done earlier i am just going to import that thing over here okay so for an example let us uh, let us uh, go to the okay, let me open it from file open and i am going to open this case okay okay this is already open you can see what I am going to do, I am going to uh, copy this thing from the C and uh, let me open the file that I have already saved. Okay. That is without vent. Okay. And let me paste it over here. And let me again select the components and let me okay so so you can see here the reservoir i'm just going to keep it same as i have defined earlier the configuration is going to remain same except the vent is not going to be there so you have seen how was the pressure fluctuation with the vent now without the vent let us see how is the pressure fluctuation okay so everything is defined as it was defined earlier let us cross check it first qag table with the table it is already defined rated speed 1200 rpm initial selling speed and it is running at 1200 rpm polar moment of inertia are 2 drive type trip and trip time is 2 seconds now let us go to the connector it is also at a height of 5 meter for the pipe it is a rigid column because it is just before the check bulb so it, there will be no turbulence uh, when the pump trips off, okay, when the pump stops after the tripping of the pump, there will not be any turbulence in this pipe P1. So the properties of the pump is already defined. The check valve it is also defined. This one is defined. This one is the pipe line where the water hammering is going to occur P2 and P3. So all the properties have been defined. The profiles, everything has been defined. Uh, next, go to the connector. Okay, okay. Next, go to the reservoir. Okay, done. So, this is the vent. So, what you are going to do? You are going to remove this vent. So, without that vent, we are going to see or check how the thing is going to work. So, let us uh, cross check it once again. Transient mode and fluid window is water and time parameters window uh, that has been changed. Let us define it to 0 0.1 seconds. That is a stiff size. Emotional time is 400 seconds. Okay. 
so times parameters window has been changed updated okay so now how do i am going to do i am going to run the transient simulation let us run it calculate transient okay so here you can see already it has been written 0 0.0 by 100.0 seconds so basically but we are seeing that uh, this has already been like the simulation is already over the computation is already done by the uh, application so now let us check what is the pressure fluctuation scenario in pipe 2 and pipe 3 just after the pump drifts up let us first check whether the pump uh, trips as we have defined or not okay so that what we can see checking the discharge at the outlet of the pump that is discharge 2 if we plot it you can see after 3 seconds the power supply to the pump has been stopped but due to some polar moment of inertia it continues operating and gradually the discharge reduces, reduces and goes to zero after a certain period of time okay so what we have wanted what we have desired the thing that we have given that is followed by the pump. Now, now let us check how the pressure fluctuation occurs in these two pipes. So let me select those two pipes and let me plot the pressure. So you can see this is the pressure profile. Okay, this is the pressure profile and the maximum pressure of 7. This is the pressure profile at time 0, 0.0 second. So as we uh, like go along the pipe, you can see the, there is some pressure drop, pressure profile along the pipe at time 0 0.07. Now, if we just start the simulation, and one thing to be noted because simulation, uh, I should say that the maximum pressure that is achieved that is approximately 6.9 bar. Okay. Now, uh, now let us uh, go to the model and time navigator window. Let me slide it up and play. Let us see how the pressure has. Just after the tripping of the pump, you can see that the pressure fluctuation has started. And the pressure fluctuation occurs between the 7 bar and the minus 1 bar. So there is a pressure fluctuation in this. Right. So you can see how the pressure fluctuation occurs. Right. And it gradually dies out. Even sometimes it again goes up and goes down. So it's kind of a wave kind of thing that is occurring due to the tripping of the pump. So you can see the pressure varies in the maximum and the minimum pressure is 7 bar and minus 1 bar. Right. Yes. So we have done this simulation. Now let us do it for, uh, let us see for the width of hint. How hot was the pressure fluctuation level? So without vent, we have seen the pressure fluctuation. Now with vent, let us see. Uh, let me open this one. Simulation is already done. So just uh, let me check uh, in the time parameters window. Everything is done. So let us uh, verify the pressure distribution over here by selecting this two. Let us verify the pressure distribution. You can see the maximum pressure is below the 7 bar. Right. So the pressure fluctuation is not very high. For this, you can see this is the pressure, the maximum pressure fluctuation below. And for this, you can see. Right. Can see this one is uh, that what I am showing currently. This one is uh, without fail, okay, and this one is with fail. So, for without fail, we can get this one, and for with fail, this one. So, there is the, the maximum peak pressure that can be achieved with fail that has been dropped. That has not been dropped significantly, but that has been dropped by a certain amount. So, you can see that. And even if you want, we can simulate it also using the time navigator. 
let us see how it looks like I think uh, less number of states of the it is also okay because we can see how the things is occurring. If we just reduce the step size, it will be if we just reduce the step size, it will be more simple. Yes. So let it get completed. So after 100 seconds, you can see this one is for with paint. This one is for without paint. And this one is for with paint. After 100 seconds. I just, uh, see. This one is for. Uh, okay. okay. So. So this is the initially that is without fit. You can see the peak pressure is a little bit higher, and approximately uh, here between five to six. The overall maximum pressure profile is a little bit less, whereas uh, where a little bit more without fit. And whereas in case of with fit, you can see the maximum pressure profile is a little bit less, as you can see here. So these are the important findings that you can find out. Uh, that you can see with and without friend. So that's all what I tried to explain. Okay.